Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Cable Rica Flex Series desk lamp. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. If you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So let's get this open. So here's the manual, and this is the Flex 44. So here's a product diagram. We have the lamp bar, upper segment, next segment, clip, end segment. Here are the specs. You can see the sizes here. The power is 11 watts, and on Amazon it says 12 watts, so it's 11 to 12. It's an LED light. It's made of aluminum. The color temperature range is 3,000 to 6,000, and that's selectable. And it has 3,000, 3,500, 4,000, 4,500, 5,000, and 6,000. It also has stepless dimming. The color rendering index is greater than 91, so the higher the CRI, the better colors look. This talks about assembling it. You push the button to attach the top. You connect the clamp, plug it in. These are all of the adjustment angles. So you can move and rotate different parts. Here's the operation. We have the light sensor, brightness, color temperature, light sensor switch, touch on off, light sensor indicator. So you touch the power once to turn it on or off. So the light sensor switch, touch once to adjust the light intensity automatically according to the environment. When the indicator is on, the lamp will adjust automatically. Environment turns bright, the lamp turns dark gradually. Environment turns dark, the lamp turns bright gradually. Then we have the color temperatures and we have the brightness adjustment. Here's some safety instructions. I think that's it there. So here's the power adapter, and this is 24 volts at 0.5 amps, so this is 12 watts. So, so I'd call it a 12 watt lamp. So the cord seems to be a little under five feet. And we have the head. I'll peel the plastic off the buttons here. Here's the lamp arm. So this is made of metal has a clamp on here. This opens to 2.56 inches, so a little over two and a half inches. So it has this metal bracket here. There's rubber on the clamp and there's rubber on the bracket. And let's see, this rotates 360. Then this here will rotate. Power goes in there. It articulates here and here. and the head will mount on here. So I'll pull this out a little bit, and it clips right on easy. To take it off, we press in, and it comes apart. And we take the power plug and plug it in here. So I'm going to clamp this to my bench. So I'm clamping it to the front just for the sake of this video. Usually you would clamp this to the back or to the side of a table or bench or desk. Okay, that's very sturdy. I'll plug it in. So if you have this on the back of a desk, this cord's just kind of kind of hang off the back of the desk. You'll be able to see it a little bit, but it's not very obtrusive. So it turned on right away. So I'm going to pull this around. I'll pull this back like so. I'll put this forward and now I'll rotate the lamp head down. Okay, so this rotates and this rotates here. Okay, so that gives you lots of flexibility. So the way it's configured now, it's flat here and it has the bump here. So the flat parts are all on the outside and the bumps are all on the inside or the hinges. So let's turn this around and look at the controls. We have on here, this is the light sensor, so I'll turn it on. Let me turn off my light. I'll put this on the desk. Let me make sure that automatic mode's on. So the automatic mode's on when the blue light's on. So I'll put this over the desk and I'm going to go shut the overhead lights off. So hopefully that came through on camera. When I turned the lights off, this got brighter. When I turned them back on, it got dimmer. So I'll turn that off for now. Next, we'll look at the color temperature. So I have the piece of paper here, I'll press it. Okay, so this must be 3,000, 3,500. 4,000, 4,500, 5,000, 6,000. So I probably like the middle. I don't know if that's 4,500. That's probably like 4,000. And then here we have the intensity. So this has steps on it. So it has six intensity levels. So this is on the brightest mode right now. This also has stepless dimming. So you tap it to do the defined levels, but if you hold down on it, it will gradually fade until it's at the lowest level. If you take your finger off and hold your finger down on it again, it will gradually brighten to the highest level. But you can take your finger off anywhere in between. And every time 
you put your finger back on it will either dim it or brighten it opposite of whatever you did previously. So then you can adjust it to the exact brightness or dimness you want. Again, I'll turn the light off so we can see what this looks like in the dark. So this is on the dimmest mode. And even on this mode, it's super easy to read this. I'll turn it up a little bit. And this is the brightest mode. So it's not coming through on camera. The exposure is a little weird. So it's hard to see how bright it is. It's very bright, it works very well. Now I currently have this around a foot from the bench surface. I could obviously lift this up higher. So let's try it at this height. And that's right at about two feet. So I can read this here, it's okay. I'd probably like it a little brighter, although as my eyes adjusted, I'd probably get used to that easily. There's level two, this is better. I prefer this, at least this. There's three, four, five, six. Now I tend to prefer bright light, so I'd probably turn it up all the way, unless I was trying to relax or something. Then I'd turn it to 3000 color temperature on the lowest light setting. And let's actually try that. So this is that warm light on the lowest setting. It's still usable. I prefer a brighter light when I'm doing some detailed task work, but I find this to be more relaxing than the cooler, brighter temperatures. Okay, so it's hard to get this whole thing in frame at this height, but like I said, it's at two foot, but you can see the adjustment on it. If you're doing some detailed work, you can get it really low. You can rotate it around. You can rotate the head so you can accent things with it. You can put this on the back of a desk and put this right above your monitor. So it's very versatile. So that's the Cable Rica 12 watt flex series desk lamp. I really like the simple modern design of this. It's very clean looking with these rectangular sections and these hinges. The wire is routed within the tubing so it's not on the outside, you don't see it. And then the wire comes in on the back so it's not very obtrusive. So it's a very clean look. This had really nice light on it and I like the settings. That cooler, brighter mode would be great for task work. And then it has those lower modes when you're trying to wind down. Now, you could also stretch this out like this too. So this will go out pretty far and I could bend that down just a little bit more. So this has a very good reach on it and then I can bend it also to go right up near the lamp. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.